Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. And now in this tutorial, I'll be talking about contour hatching. Sometimes, you know, if you were to make a plot, let's say, especially a contour plot, sometimes it might be required to make what you call as some hatches inside the plot. For instance, you may like to have some lines that they, they that can strike through from from left to right from left to right or right to left or something like that otherwise you might want to look at the distinguish the contours from each other using some uh, some symbols or asterisks like that okay the main purpose is to uh, differentiate the regions differentiate the regions so this is called as hatching and i'll in this tutorial in this tutorial i'll, I'll be telling you how you can make a hatching like this in contour plots so okay so let's look at them one way let's look at the program today so th this is actually the program which I've been using for the counter plots, especially in the last few videos. So if you know what I'm, if you know, if you're following that, you can actually skip all this part. I can directly go to this line over here. Okay. Any, just to give a little clearer clarity, I just create two values over here, n1 and n2, from which I set the values of x1 and x2, which is a linear space between 0 and 2 pi. From using the values of lowercase x1 and x2, I create a coordinate, two-dimensional grid, mesh grid, which actually has the grid points and x and y, x and y coordinates. Using the values x1 and x2, I create some the sample data, which is actually the sine, sine of, uh, sprite or sine and the cosine of the x and y coordinates. And I create a small uh, uh, a list, I mean an array, uh, array which is linearly spaced between minus one to one with five values in it. I'll be using this for my contour. Now I can actually plot my contour uh, contour lines over here, but for this particular program, I think we don't need that. So I'm just actually my you know not putting that over here. Actually, you know what? We can actually include this. Doesn't matter. This will just make the plot a little better to look at. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we can include that. Okay. So the the main thing that we like to know today is actually this part over here hatches. So contour fill and contour both of them have another variable inside it called as hatches. What this hatches does is that it, you just specify what kind of a hatching or a differentiation that you like to keep. So if you just put a dot, it'll it'll be a it'll have a, a filled circles will be used as hatches. If you use two slashes. Okay, since slash backslash is actually a escape sequence in Python, you have to use two slashes to use it as a string. Okay, and you use that, you'll have uh, we have like lines hatching. You have some lines cr crossing the uh, hatching up these contours from left to right, left to right from top to bottom. Okay, and if you keep a if I keep a hatch to be none, let's say, then there won't be any hatch for any particular contour. And then if you keep a star, you'll have stars as the, your hatches for your contours. And if you keep two, uh, I mean four backslashes over here, backslashes over here, the hatching will be a little more denser. And if you keep three, uh, I mean if you keep six, uh, six backslashes or eight backslashes, the uh, hatching will be even more denser. Okay. On the other hand, if you want to have a, let's say, a forward slash, let's say, you can also do that. And let me, if I run this. Okay, if I increase the number of hatches, let's say in the future, this will also work fine. For instance, let me put this to let's say seven, and uh, hopefully, there. Uh, hopefully, there you go. You have little more. You have little more hatches over here in this plot because uh, the hatch is slightly varied in color because I just changed the numbers. But nevertheless, you, this should be uh, this should work just fine. Okay, let me just uh, revert this to five because the plot configurations have changed. Okay, so okay, this will do. Yeah, this should do. This should do. Run this. There we go. Okay, so this is how you do hatches. So the more number of hatches you put, based on the number of uh, cup breaks you have, they will be used accordingly. If the number of hatches are less. Then they, the hatches will be re reused again, reused again. If the hatches are more, the extra ones will be left. Le extra ones will be left. Okay. Anyway, uh, just by this, you can have some control over the hatches. And now what else I've done over here is I just include a color bar in this plot. I just include a color bar in this plot, and I also include a legend over here. Okay, and that's that. I'll talk about this. I'll talk about this in another video. But just for now, I'll just mention what the command I've used. I use the CS2, which is actually the contour fill handle. 
okay from that i use this command legend underscore elements and then get out get the artists and labels this artist is nothing but the kind of uh, polygon objects that do, that are inside this legends legend elements are the lines which are we call it lines are the polygon elements and the labels are just the names so with your yeah, after getting these i call this plot underscore legend function and i pass the artist and labels and i also specify the handle height which is nothing but this nothing but how big this box has to be i set the handle height to be 2 and then i set the location of this legend to be at the lower center and i specify the number of columns of the legends to be 3 if i set this to be 1 all the legends will be kept one one below the other in a column format if I set this to be three, uh, it will be the legends will be filled in three columns, and the number of rows will increase depending upon the number of entries I have. Okay, I set the frame alpha to be one so that it's completely opaque. Okay, I set a fancy box option to uh, fancy box parameter to be true. Thereby you have a nice little neat box around it. Okay, and I set the shadow option to be true. Thereby you get a little shadow feature feature available. And this kind of line over here, I mean this argument over here, B box to anchor, that is the most important argument in this legend box. What it does is that it just pushes the this entire legend box to a particular coordinate as per our convenience. So this point, if I put 0.5 comma minus 0 0.4, it actually pushes the, I mean keeps the box coordinates. I mean this legend box coordinate at 0.5 at x equals 0.5 location of the explosion to be 0.5 on the figure and uh, minus 0 0.4 make sure that this is actually below the below the plot you can actually go special you can actually vary the values of uh, you can actually vary the values of uh, the x and y coordinates x and y values of b box to anchor and to make push the um, push the legend to uh, wherever location you want other than that, what I've done here is I just use the subplots and underscore adjust function, adjust I mean, function over here to push the bottom a little bit. If I don't have this line over here, okay, if I don't have this within the plotting region, my legend will not my legend will not pop up, okay, because it's legends at the bottom. So I just have to go to this con I mean the size settings configuration and then push the bottom a bit. I just have to push the bottom a bit okay when I push that I get my legends coming out so I noticed that around 0.26 around 0.26 units at the bottom is just about enough for to get the legend coming out perfectly with a little bit of white space at the bottom so I know that plot will look better so I just uh, you know by trial and error I just set this up over here so when I set this bottom to be 0.26 I get my figure over here nicely nicely done now i can go and save this and go and save this if i want to okay now that's all i have for you all in this video this is actually a video on contour hatching this is not a very big um, you know program a very important tool per se but this is actually can be helpful for people if you will especially want to de uh, il illustrate um, illustrate the contours a little more clearly now that's all i have, you, I have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video uh, until then, take care.